big city. To some Americans, Iran seems like an unsafe and unfriendly country. The Daily Show with Jon Stewart sent two of its staff to Iran in hopes of breaking this stereotype. But how did they explain their program to the people of Iran? It's a satirical news program. Normally we just do these things in front of green screens, but my boss is an ass. Be safe, Jason. It's not worth it. After almost a year of planning, Jason Jones, The Daily Show's senior foreign correspondent, and Tim Greenberg, his intrepid producer, traveled to Iran before the Iranian elections. They did what no other fake news show has ever done, covered Iran by actually going there. They came back with a series of reports. We were just trying to break some of the um, stereotypes that had existed up to that point, which was, it's a terrifying place, the people all hate us, they're, they're all terrorists. Um, we can't, we, you know, we don't have anything in common with the people of Iran. Uh, and so we were trying to break some of those, those stereotypes. And subsequently, we did see... Subsequently, uh, we, we couldn't break them because <laughs> they were all true. It was tough. We lied a lot. American people are nice people. Yeah, I like America. The people are really friendly, very good. Very good people. I like the people. I have friends in America. The thing that surprised me the most was that people very quickly seem to understand uh, our humor. Because we do a lot of things that we're going out, we're asking people ridiculous questions, and if we they do? have no idea what we're talking about, sometimes it can sound a little offensive, you know? But uh, as quickly, if not more so, the Iranian people sort of right, understood yeah. where I'm they're well, coming from, at some point understood the joke, you know, we're oh. happy to sort of be a part of it. You have a beautiful cave. Thank you. <laughs> well, I get some criticism here from Americans on behalf of Iranians coming up to me saying, uh, how dare you make fun of them like that? I'm like, well, you know, I wasn't really making fun of them. I was kind of being ironic. And she was like, she's like, I know, I get that. They don't. I'm right. like, well, that's, you're kind of proving our point just there. That <laughs> you think they're stupid. <laughs> stupid. Right, which uh, was the opposite. I mean, it was, you know, people got it, like I said, they better get it, than Americans Yeah, much do, faster so. than Americans. So if they get it better than, than Americans do, you know, given the language barrier, I think it just goes to show, you know, that they're much more sophisticated people than Americans uh, might like to think. But I assured my producer, Tim Greenberg, that as long as he was with me, there was nothing to fear. We've been talking about going to Iran for about a year, uh, and uh, it was a fascinating country to us. We wanted to sort of break down a few barriers. I have a wife and children. Please don't hurt me. America knows very little about uh, what goes on in Iran, you know, so when we first landed, we were, we were a little nervous about what we're going to expect. I immersed myself in their customs, their food. After every single interview and every meeting we had, there was a tea session. Um, and they'd be offended if you did not sit down for tea. So, you know, and we were like, we had a jam-packed day, so we'd have like, you know, four or five interviews in a day, after, after which tea was served for everything. And then the crew during the day would also want to break for tea. Um, and I was like, I can't, I can't drink any more tea. I'm sorry. My teeth are stained and I've, I've already wet myself because I do not go into Iranian public bathrooms. I know it, it drains out apparently better when you squat, but uh, I don't like it. I like to stand. What kind of country has a drinking hose beside the toilet? This is stupid. What did we just do? Yeah. What do you mean, we? What did we just do? You didn't do anything. Yeah, what did, <laughs> what I, did I just to, do? Yeah, what did Jason just what, put in his mouth? What diseases did I just get on my lips? He's put a lot of things in his mouth, but that was... That was by far the worst. Yeah. A hose that it was up countless guys' uh, And women's, to, to be fair, women's too. Jason is willing to suck on a bidet hose in the, uh, in, in, in the hopes of uh, uh, fostering better communication between our country than, you know, between our two countries. And maybe there is some way that we can all learn to get along. As the only American in this room, I'm scared. While their focus was on comedy and politics, Jason and Tim also had some moments where they encountered the humanity, kindness, and hospitality of Iranians. Yeah, I just spent this great evening with this family, and uh, um, just, just, they were exactly like an American family. You know, every really same customs, same sort of sense of family. and. Then at the end, we kind of all went off on a walk and we went to this playground where it was like the most bucolic, beautiful scene you've ever seen. Like there was a father actually teaching his kid how to walk. There was like a woman in full shador on a, on a seesaw with a like little girl. And, and it was just this, this brilliant moment where it just kind of like 
tears kind of came to my eyes. And when I hear the war drum to bomb these people, I go, you're out of your mind. What is your problem? Like, why on earth would you think these people are out to get you? Because they are really just uh, yeah, about something th that we're about, which is just having a safe, happy, prosperous life. The total election fallout was a shock to Tim and Jason. They found it challenging taking a comedic approach during a serious and worrisome time. What we're equipped to do primarily is comedy. Yes, there's content at the heart of it, but um, this definitely crossed over the line into some things that were not so funny. Events just sort of spun beyond our control. It was a little uncomfortable to suddenly be in a very serious place and still trying to do comedy. When we went out there, you know, everything looked like it was going to be a little bit easier. Despite years of isolation between Iran and America, a comedy series was able to break some stereotypes by showing Iranians in a gracious, comedic, intelligent light. This duo is also hoping to send a message to all Iranians, particularly the ones they met during their trip. Thank you for, for being such gracious hosts. Thanks for opening your homes and your libraries, your schools and your coffee shops and letting me in and letting me do anything. It was, it was truly some of the most accommodating people I've ever met in my life um, over there. And I hope everyone stays safe and I hope uh, things work out because clearly right now it is a terrible time. For Sahar Sarshar, this is Mernush Karimian, Voice of America, PNN. One, two, three, break! Okay. Yeah, that's right.